Hey everyone, Hal here, Quail Studios Guitar. Today we are going to teach you Good Riddance, or Time of Your Life, by Green Day. And we'll get right into it in just a second. Um, I've got a couple of little announcements. To get the lead sheet, get my book. In the description you'll find the links to how you can do that. Let's see, um, I'm going to zoom in this way so you can see my right hand strumming really well and also we're going to do a down uh, what do you call that? A, a, a down camera or whatever and zoom in on that too so you can see exactly what I'm doing from that angle. So check it out. Let's see, oh one more thing a new way to support the channel is to buy some earrings from Savannah we call her Savvy. She's over at Instagram. In the description you will find the links. That's a really great way to support the channel. Let's just get right into it now. Here's the guitar chords for Good Riddance. Our first chord is G5. I don't have this finger down, but that's what it looks like. This one is just hanging out there. C sus2. We've got a D chord and an E minor and that's it. No, no, I take it back. I have a regular G. Uh, that's when I don't have this finger down. This one's still hanging out because I'm muting the A string. I've got a C chord. Pretty standard chord. And that's it. Now let's talk about the right hand strumming. The strumming that I'm using is like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Ukulele players will call this the island strum. Now when I do this, it's the same thing. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down. Up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, 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 one. Let's do it slow. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one, 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 two, three, four. What I like to do is I like to hit those up strokes, down, down, up, B string, and then the G string open. One, two, three, four, one. hit these chords you want to hit you want to hit those low notes now I'm muting the A string and I'm hitting the G note third fret on the E string you'll hear that I'm using a palm mute back here and I'm hitting those two notes the G and the D now here I'm playing Third fret on the A string, second fret on the D string. Here I'm playing the open D string and the A note, second fret on the G string. I like to do that too. A little hammer on there. I do a hammer on there. Let's talk about that in just a second and look at the left hand, but for right now, love the way that sounds. All right, let's look at the, uh, the left hand more specifically. You 
to be able to take that chord, that C sus2 chord. See that? And you lift it, and you play it open, and then you tap it. And how many times do you have to do this? I don't know, 500? To be good at it? I have no idea. I just love to do that hammer-on. If I don't do the hammer-on, it sounds like this. Let's do it with the hammer. Love the hammer on. Right hand, time of your life, strumming. Let's do it slower. Let's do a different camera angle now. One, two, three, four. of the song you know the recording sounds like that now when I saw the live version on the Howard Stern show then it was a little different he wasn't so so uh, precise in his uh, strumming and I think one of the reasons is because um, he might have been a little bit nervous or maybe that's just the way he strums it naturally. Right? 
So anyway, um, on the recording, it's come to my attention that this might have been a mistake that he was doing at the beginning because he says a little word that starts with an F after those two beginnings, but I never heard it until I turned it up and listened to it carefully. But I always played it like this. So you do that twice, G5. So you do two strums on G5. One, two, C sus two twice, no, C sus two once. D once, G5 twice, C sus two once, D once, and then we sing. Another turning point of folks stuck in the road. By the way, if you want to check out the, uh, the cover, I'm going to put it right there so you can listen to it the way I do it. Okay, let's come back again. Another time in point of folk stuck in the road. G5 again. Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go. E minor. So make the best D on this test. C and don't ask why. G. It's not a question. So it's E minor to D. So it's one strum. Down, down, up, up, down, up, D, down, up, up, down, up, C, down, up, up, down, up, G. You do that two times in this part. So make the best of this test and don't ask why. It's not a question but a lesson learned in time. It's some, now we're on the chorus. It's something unpredictable, but in the end there's right. So we do that twice. E minor, G, E minor, G, back to E minor. I hope you have the time of your E minor, D of your life. Now we're back to the intro again. And that's what we do again. So this G, when you say lie, that's really a G5. And so we start that introduction part again. Now, on my lead sheet, you'll notice that it says intro right after that chorus. And the G5 is in parentheses. And that's because the G5 on the word live is the same chord as the G5 at the beginning of that intro. And then after you do that intro again, then we go to verse two. So take the photographs and still frames in your mind. Hang it on a shelf in good health and good time. E minor, tap to the memories, D and dead skin, C on trial, G. E minor, D on worth. It was worth all the while. I played that badly, didn't I? Let's do that again. For what it's worth, it was worth all the while. E chorus. It's, let's see, E minor. It's something unpredictable, but in the end there's right. I hope you have the time of your life back into an intro again. So really what I do, um, I hope you have the time of your life. On that D, the last D in the chorus, I like to just hold it instead of strum it. I think there's more of an impact there because you really know what's coming up next. Uh, so let's do that chorus again. Every chorus I like to do that. It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you have the time of your life. Now, after this lead comes the verse chords. So what we do is, now in the recording, the original recording, there's strings there and they're doing a lead. And so what I did is I just sang it. And 
and we do the second part of the verse. And then I sing the chorus. It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you have the time of your life. So right there what I did was, I hope you have the time of your life. I just little muted strum before I start playing the G. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Time of your life. One, two, three, four. What you do on a muted strum, let's get a little closer so I can show you. What you do is you actually, you lay your hand down on the strings right there, and you just strum it. Time of your life. See that? Time of your See how I switch? So here it is, slow motion. I hope you have the time of your life. So now we've gone through the lead, which is basically, I play the intro, and then we play the verse, and then the, the strings play the lead there. I actually just sing it when I'm doing solo. We do a chorus, then we go back into the intro, just like I did there, and then we do one more chorus. On the last chorus, one of the things that I like to do is I like to tone it down, make it quiet. It's something unpredictable. But in the end is right, I hope you have the time of your life. And I play the intro going out. And that's it. Or you could go, it's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you have the time of your life. I think I like that better because it, it gives more of a, an ending there. Uh, let's do that last chorus one more time. It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you have the time of your life. For being here <laughs> it's been great to have you and for being here all the way to the end well you get to hear my little spiel at the end right thank you for being here and uh, remember you can get my book that has this music in it um, do I need to put I don't think I need to put tabs in it because I explained it pretty well in the video remember earrings you can get earrings for a loved one and they are beautiful and actually very light links are in the description just contact Savvy over at Instagram. I've got a Patreon page and a Subscribestar page, or you can just donate through PayPal to support the channel. Don't forget to share this video on whatever social media site you love. Instagram, Facebook, uh, whatever. Minds.com, I don't care. Uh, just so that this can go viral. And all my other videos too, because if you love it, other people will. See you later. Bye.